Welcome to the Michael Sylvester. Ooh, no. Welcome to the MPLS Vlogs Mukbang today. <laughs> today on the um, menu is hot ramen. Ba -ba. I don't know the exact name of the ramen that's on our table today, but it's spicy and I've had yeah, it before. It's in, it's in Korean, so it's I can't read it. This is the one though that's been on YouTube a lot for challenges, the super, two times spicy hot. one. So yeah, let's just dig in and stuff. Oh, let me show you guys it. So you guys can get a feel. Mm -hmm. That's what it's looking like. It's a little dry, but. It's not gonna be. Oh, sorry, I wasn't trying to complain. It's it's fine. And then we have extra sauces because Michael was scared about adding all of them in. So. About it being too hot, too spicy. It's sure. not even red, it should be red. Do you handle spice well, Michael? Um, yes. Okay. Uh, I, yeah. A regular, More than the average person, probably. Okay, it's a regular amount. But I'm not on the level of like... Like hot wings, like the guy on the show. Probably not. You would cry at some point. I would cry, yeah. Yeah, you guys need to put some water in yours. Because I have water in my bowl. Oh. And it's gonna... It's gonna help with the stickiness. Okay. Yeah. Because look, it soaked up all the water. Yeah, these, okay, these noodles might be a little dry. <laughs> That's just because I was afraid you're gonna overcook them. Yeah. And I don't like overcooked noodles because yeah. they, they feel like, like worms or something. Ugh. I just don't like the experience. So right now I have the Great Gatsby queued up on the TV. Oh so man, these are kind of spicy. As soon as we're done eating, I'm gonna go watch the Great Gatsby. Speaking of Leonardo DiCaprio, Leonardo mm. DiCaprio is one of the celebrities who I feel like gets a lot of hype and it's well deserved. I actually think he is one of the best actors of his generation. Mm -hmm. What generation is that? Um, I feel like he's he's not a millennial. He was born yeah. in the eighties. I don't, I don't like the, I don't like how this, what this does to my body. I'm sorry. Okay. But out of the gate, I'm kind of struggling a little bit. Hmm. It's not horrible. It just doesn't feel good. Probably not, no. But this isn't a meal I sit down and enjoy with the family. Mm -mm. This no. is not a first date meal. Mm -mm. At all. Um, this isn't even a second date meal. This is like... This is if you're just at home and bored. That would ruin a date so quickly. Now I have indigestion and heartburn. <sighs> but yeah, so what you said the topic was... Okay, so Samaria wants to, um, a, celeb a celebrity that was rated correctly. Yeah. How about overrated, overrated celebrities or actors? Let's go through the professional. Zendaya. Okay. I haven't watched one thing from Zendaya. And that's the argument. Well, never mind. I haven't because I haven't watched Euphoria, which is what she got her Emmy for. Right. I don't so. watch Euphoria. I haven't seen any of the Spider Mans. If she's in multiple ones, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't. The only thing I've seen her in was her first starring role. And she was a kid. And she had to, like, with Disney, like, you just do what they want you to do. Mm -hmm. so. Shake It Up, though, should have won an Emmy. Shake It Up was great. I'm kidding. <laughs> but it wasn't, like, it wasn't enough for me to be like, oh, she's a good or bad actor. It was one role. Yeah. It's like no, rating, it's like rating him. Audition. Like Shia LaBeouf rating him mm -hmm. on Even Stevens. Like, oh. He had one role. I yeah. know an overrated actor. And this is not because he's not good. It's just he's talked about all the time. And it's Timothy Chalamet. Ooh, you gotta come for me like Almost that. everybody likes him. And he seems great. I saw his movies. He's a good actor. But no. he's still, oh, he, they love him. People love him. Well, are you just mad because they keep bringing him up in conversation? Or has he yes. won things? And you're like, he's in He hasn't like won like any awards. So that's why I think people mm. talk about him as, not that you have to win awards to be considered a good actor. But I feel like he hasn't been in the industry long enough to get this. He gets the same like, as Leonardo DiCaprio. Um, well, Leonardo's that, been in it for like 30 years. I don't know if it's the same amount of praise. A lot know. of adults still don't know who Timothy Chalamet is. It's right, because it took me years to know his name. You guys will, yeah. Hey, maybe I'm wrong. Well, he's in a lot of movies now. Mm -hmm. So he might just become known just because he's everywhere. He's building his resume. Mm -hmm. So in five years, look, the talks, the talks in the town will be relevant. I just think it's it's inspirational just watching someone who did so many independent short films to getting a breakout role. It's just really inspiring. 
Mm. So I think he's, to me, he's worth the hype. He's definitely not slept on. But no, was, I don't think so, too. Because if, if he was slept on, he wouldn't be getting as many roles as he's getting. Yeah. Someone cares about the boy's career. Ooh. How about Denzel Washington? Um, now, in the black African-American community, and almost the community in general, Denzel Washington is considered highly praised. A, highly praised. But someone says he's just good playing himself, or is he actually a good actor? Ooh. He someone was said, not playing himself on fences. He was disrespectful on fences. That's true. Denzel's a gentleman. And he would never cheat. He was probably playing himself in all those movies from like 2007 to seven. Like the Equalizers, I feel like he's just playing himself. But at that point, like, uh, mm, um, Flight? Yeah. Flight, you seen Flight? Mm. My tongue hurts. Flight, he's addicted to cocaine. He Ooh. smokes the whole movie. Mom, mom and dad played that for us. I was traumatized. Like, because he was smoking so much? It was just so explicit. What, what was explicit? Was it sexually explicit or was it like mm. by profanity language? No, it was just the drugs. Like, okay. It was like they were throwing well, cocaine around like it was bread. Like, just the whole table. You was should get white. the mochi out. Just, was that for us to eat? Like, mm -hmm. So that it burn our mouths? Yes. You don't want some cornbread? I don't want to eat cornbread. Not like this. Um. So, Smear picks up, picked up this, um... Uh, strawberry mochi. Strawberry mochi. Which would be perfect to um, lessen the pain. There's only three sauces on here. Can you imagine how Matt Stone did this? With all the packets? Wild. So I was w looking at um, trailers of old shows, and Twenty One Jump Street came. I don't like mochi. I like the dough. <laughs> just suck the ice cream out. Ice cream's good. And on. I think the dough needs to be firmer. What was it called? Twenty One Jump Street is a show that starred Holly. Holly Holm, the MMA fighter. No, Holly Preet. I don't know if you know her by name, but you know her by face. I didn't watch Twenty One Jump Street. It's a very old show. I, I didn't watch it. Yeah, but it makes sense why in the movie Twenty One Jump Street with Jenny Tamam and um, Jonah Hill, Johnny Depp made an appearance at the end, and it was a big deal because I was like, why is it a big deal that Johnny Depp's randomly in the movie? But it's because in the show, he was the main star. I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know it either. And I watched this. I love that. How he just randomly appeared. Right. It threw me off, but I'm always I'm always for a Johnny Depp appearance. Oh, absolutely. But um I brought it up because the show looked fine, like mighty fine watching the mon the montage that they did with him and Holly. They did like a a couples montage, like all the different scenes that made their relationship what it was. I didn't know if their relationship meant anything on the show, but people loved them two together. And especially back then, I don't think biracial couples on TV were still like a thing. Oh, man. So because it was happening with them two people were all like, oh my gosh, this is so great. They're so adorable. Mm -hmm. I think I'm done with that. Yeah. Thank you for buying the most people. We have kimchi. I bought the kimchi. I don't know if that's gonna help. I think bread will really help you. Oh, maybe you should get the bread. Mm. One second. I can grab it. We don't have any more rolls. We only have the. Oh, oh you can get that. That's that big log of bread. Let's soak on that. That would be good. What you helping? And the ice cream topping. Mmm. The dough is um really gooey and gross. Oh, you think it's bad mochi? I think it's just um maybe. Right. Um, great. I'm okay. Um, who else is? So 
going on um, Johnny Depp, I'm a little yeah. nervous about his career right now because he went into that whole case with his ex-wife. Was um, she beating him? She was beating him, but she was blaming it on him. So that he was a, he was going to be at first, but there's no evidence. He's the only one that's been getting hurt. And during the process, a lot of movies were just taking him off their name. They didn't mm. want to deal with it. And I'm just like, bruh, like, can the case go through first? But mm -hmm. they're just taking him off of projects. And his fans are staying with him strong, saying like, no, because if it was the other way around, everybody would have said, let's cancel Johnny Depp, but now that's his what Amber. We're going to say like, oh, we'll just like take him off his movies. Why is he getting punished? Because he's the one getting hit. Like, we don't get it. I'm like, well. Wait, he, she was beating him? Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. And... All the evidence points that way, but it's like a guy has to try five times harder to prove his innocence than a woman does. Oh, for real. Like, so it's just a struggle right now for him, and I'm just sad because he was supposed to be in Fantastic Beast, and they took his role out, and he appeared in the last movie. He was like in five. Scenes. I don't think anyone's gonna miss him in Fantastic. Beasts. Okay, maybe not. What I'm gonna miss Fantastic Beast. They could not make Ooh. another movie, and I don't think a lot of people would care. Hey, what do you guys think about like? In Hollywood, or just in the justice system combined, uh -uh. if we're gonna talk about people who are being accusing, I don't. We're staying on the happy side. Um. Oh. I wouldn't talk about a specific case. Just how people get fired. Like it's how it's supposed to be guilty, to, innocent to proven guilty. But in Hollywood, they fire you as soon as the allegations come out. Do you think it's fair that they fire people before? Um. Oh, where's your spoon? The. Like the court has made in a thing, or you need to protect your business and your brand. You get to protect your business and brand. Oh yeah, because that would take a long time. Yeah, we're not gonna sit here for years, and then until... we have a whole movie that millions of dollars are riding on, and it's a that's, that's the lead. That's like true. no, we're gonna take it. Right, may or may not be right. Like right. we're not gonna deal with that. Can you say that word on YouTube? Oh, probably not. Okay, um, just bleep that out. I try to remember. <laughs> <laughs> but um yeah, we don't want someone who could potentially be like a harmful person to ruin our brand. It's just not a good look. Not at all. Michael, why are you still eating it? Yeah, I wanna be a part. You eat the ice cream. Mm -hmm. Most things just require you to eat. Not necessarily to eat. That's true. This is my last one probably. You made a lot though. Yes. Shame. I'm actually gonna save this. How do you save your freeze ramen? No. Just put it in a baggie. Okay. You on your way to the gym? No, I probably can't eat this tomorrow, but well, maybe the next day. I wouldn't put it I'm back. I'm doing too many of sports tomorrow. It wouldn't it wouldn't go good. It's probably not good. I may have to make sure I don't just go to sleep. Because this is not this is gonna give me heartburn if I just go to bed oh, after yeah. this. We, we got this two hour movie we to watch. Yeah, that'll be a lot. Um, yeah. They're just trying to protect their brand, their business. <clears throat> and that's what businesses are made to do. Businesses are always, they're just made to make money. That's it, not to take care of you. Not to be, yeah, not to take not care to of you. make sure that you got what you need or. To feed you meant spiritually. Nothing. They're just meant to make money. And if you help to make that, yeah, join the team. That's what Disney stars who are like a little bent out of shape and hurt. Mm -hmm. The hurt, like Disney people. Mm. They didn't let me, they didn't let me play my beats. They, they didn't listen to my song. It was like, <laughs> but when you go to a new, I, I couldn't show up at work and just tell my boss, okay, I have a whole layout for your brand. Okay, we're gonna go blue. Who are you it's talking about cute. specifically? <laughs> no. <laughs> Ryan's with Bobo Holmes. I couldn't just show up and do that. No. So I was like, so why do you think when you go to Disney, which is a company, and you're like basically an intern, you're just a talent. We're talking about Coco Jones. <laughs> a shout out to her. She's been struggling. Yeah. She's been wanting attention, and people are giving her. She has a lot of views. People want More to see her. More but than yep. I'm just curious on like, what more does she want? 
She wants to be big. Okay, well, the bigger you get, the more you have to be quiet. Do you hear any personal opinions on any of the major stars? Nah. They come do their job. The only time you hear them talk is when they're being asked an interviewed question. No one knows anything personal going on with Chris Evans. Chris or Evans. Scarlett Johansson. Good point. Yeah, last time Chris Evans tried to talk, he almost got canceled. Really? Yeah. Because everyone has opinions, I'm sure. But there's just a point where you have to choose, okay, is this the time and place? I'm sure the actors right. come together in one of their mansions and just talk about all the stuff they hate, about working for different producers and directors. I'm sure you, you have an opinion. Of mochi. I hate mochi. <laughs> I'm not mm. going to sit here and eat something I know I don't like. Hmm. I thought you got the ice cream in there. Yeah, the dough was struggling. Mm. I can't. I I'm can't. So over this. <laughs> I'm so over this noodles. Ah. You were out after the first bite, low key. I was. I can't stand it. It's like annoyingly hot. Mmm. I get it. It's not for everybody. It is for me though. It's fire. <sighs> Even Raja, Aja, Aja Hall, she was saying in her YouTube video, her car, <laughs> the bigger you get. She you know, was preaching. Mm -hmm. She was preaching, trying to get people to understand it of mm -hmm. the situation. I don't have to explain my salvation to you or anybody. I was a Christian before I got that tattoo. I'm a Christian now. My yeah, I don't know why the tattoo was such a huge thing. People really need to get over this need to control other people's decisions. Absolutely. Like, what is it going to do if they, let's say, like, there's a whole sign that says go left. Mm -hmm. And you know that the right way is to go right. <laughs> cool. Why do people keep standing there and getting upset that people keep going in whatever direction they want to go? It makes zero sense. Like, if they want to go the wrong way, let them go. I'm not saying that getting a tattoo is the wrong way at all. I have zero opinion on other people getting tattoos. They don't wake up and ask, what does Pauline want me to do today? <laughs> so why should they ask, how do you feel about what you, I, it, I, I It really does not matter what I think. No. Like she said, it's between me and God. Mm -hmm. My relationship between me and God. Oh, yes, mm -hmm. have it. Have your relationship, because that's all I care about in the first place anyway. Mm -hmm. People people who get upset and start pulling out Bible verses to attack people, I'm like, okay, now and what are you gonna what are you gonna do after this? What does one do after you attack a whole soul? I was laughing I watched a video with um Denzel Dion. Ooh, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, he did a video, he was talking about um oh, gosh, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's funny. But he did a video of what he bought himself for Christmas. And it was really expensive stuff. He said, if you're watching this, you feel like, you know, maybe this, this is a lot. This is like, <laughs> maybe you're jealous or you feel like I don't, I'm privileged. That's how you feel. Then feel that way. Because mm -hmm. I'm not here to apologize. I just don't care. Let so you continue with this video. You can't, you can't be the about what people think about you. So true. But the YouTubers will apologize. Freddie, my love. <laughs> Fashion video blogger. She's a white girl. She <laughs> Why does that matter? <laughs> no, because when people see her, they're like, oh, this They could have looked up Freddie, my love. There's no no one else's name is Freddie, my love. We, we love Caucasians. We love African Americans on this channel. The people... People love to hate on this white girl because they think, oh, privilege. She's always been rich. Like, no, Freddie started off just like- In the trenches. <laughs> Maybe not, no, I our, saw her on 24th Street begging for money <laughs> <laughs> like five years ago, right? She was never on the streets. Her dad has a good job. <laughs> her mom has a good job. But she worked her way up on YouTube. So when she buys her Chloe bags and her Louis Vuittons, People oh when she did a video of she did a video of all the knockoff brand bags and she laughed at some of them. She's like <clears throat> she has an accent. <laughs> so, sorry, this is so bad. I can't even look at this. This is just so ugly. Like it's just not my style at all. And then everyone was like, That's my favorite bag. 
Nah. Or they're like, forget you, that's all I can afford. And you're laughing at it like it's trash. What was I- it, like Dooney and Bork or something? <laughs> yeah. Okay, because that is ugly. And it was, um, it was stuff from Shein. It was like no. a Louis Vuitton no. knockoff if you If you buy stuff from Shein, Sean, however you pronounce it. Mm-hmm. Oh, wait. Public service announcement. Go ahead. If, if you, you buy, buy if you buy items from Sheen, raw Romwe, 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 you are utter trash, <laughs> and that's home period. No, you're not trash, mm-hmm. but your fashion goals are very mediocre, very basic. So and for those can, reasons, you are mediocre. So you can't get upset by people who just have standards for yeah. their fashion. Don't get mad at them. Don't get mad at them. I'm not mad at someone who shop at those places, but you can't think that you have a name in the fashion no. world. You don't. You shop at places where they just... You know what it's made for. It's, it's, made it's for a cheap fashion. It's made out of the same towelette that they make for paper towels. That's the, that's the fabric of your t-shirt. <laughs> we won't be getting sponsored by them. <laughs> it's just... It's, it's just the most basic materials of everything. That's why they sell shirts for like 50 cents. Because it's just, it's made out of nothing. Yeah, everything is ninety percent polyester, and then ten yeah. percent what it's actually supposed to be. Right. So just because Fred and my love cares about quality, she you're just mad. cares about quality. So it's like they have other, uh, or if you're butt hurt about that kind of stuff, cause she'll get on and apologize. Kid guy, you know she won't even apologize. She'd be like, guys, don't act like I was laughing. Like you guys know that I do these videos just to talk about what I like. You guys know I wasn't trying to make fun of you. And I was like, mm, that's not really an apology. Yeah, the 14 year olds don't know that. I didn't need an apology though. I said, Freddie, do your thing. Thank you. Because I'm not tuning in to the. <laughs> like, yeah. Think, you like the. The glamour. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, the esca I like that she has way more money than me. Because it, it just. It, <laughs> <laughs> it, I love that for her. It's like the feeling you watch when you watch the Kardashians. It's just. Right, fun. you're not watching the Kardashians because they shop at Target. <laughs> No, I can tell you're watching target. them because they go to Barbados on a Tuesday. Mm. That's what you're watching them for. Yes. Do you want to sleep with all those people to have the, the dirt? No. They what? Did. <laughs> they did it for you. <laughs> I, I don't know what I don't know what she was insinuating. But I'm just saying that like people people are just get they get upset for things they can't have and what they can't do. Yeah, so that's just really what I'm jealous. saying. I don't mean to attack the Kardashians like that. You no, know, I don't know what they do with what they're without other people, but or Amanda John, she does these little Walmart hauls, and I'm like, do not get on YouTube and show me a sweater from Walmart. <laughs> that makes me upset. I thought that was nice for like the little twelve year olds and stuff who all they can go to is Walmart. They can still feel like a fashionista when their mom can only afford Walmart. Mm. That's true. true. I think about those kids. That's true. People had to be Walmart. YouTube cute. is full of 12-year-olds. You got to remember that. Yeah. Just because you're grown, that means that most of the viewers are. Yeah, they don't get enough representation. Uh, I don't know if they need to. <laughs> I saw this little 12-year-old girl. She's doing her YouTube channel, Fashion Hauls, and she said, my boyfriend fits my clothes. <laughs> and she had a little, well. She had another little 12-year-old boy. He's like... Okay. And I was like, <clears throat> "This is your friend. This is not your boyfriend. He is. He is, he looked like a child. He looked like he honestly looked ten. And I, I was just I like, can't, I can't deal with you. You are friends. I no little kids. Looks like Cole Sprouse and Sweet Life Zach and Cody. Yeah. It's like no, you look too little. Sorry. Young love is just it's so not not that young." It's so uncomfortable. I can't even look at that. How does that even happen? Even college love, I just laugh at. But I only can laugh at it now because I'm out of it. I was like, how did, how did two 11 year olds decide to get into a relationship? I just don't understand how that. They watched enough um, TV shows. To tell them what they need to do. Hollywood tells you what you need to do at every age. Mm-hmm. At every age. Yeah. Yeah. Watch the right That's how I knew I needed to start robbing places. That's when I knew I needed high tech glasses like Cookie and then it's classified. I need to get his glasses stuff. were broken. His glasses were not high tech. <laughs> they were just broken. They were? No, he had his moments where they're like techy. Yeah, he, he touched them. Wow. And they could see stuff. Cookie was heavy. I guess, I guess it didn't help him much. No. He was a smart cookie. I don't know what I don't know what his um what his mo was for that shit. I never liked him. I don't know where he was going with it. He was just really nerdy. Yeah. What do you mean his mo? Well, like, what was his character development? Oh, didn't he get attractive one season? Yeah. 
He, yeah, he, he stopped wearing glasses in mm-hmm. it. He stopped wearing glasses. I love how that, that makes you more attractive. Right. <laughs> Finally, he got rid of the braces. He got, he got his braces off. He got his braces mm-hmm. off. Yeah, and then lost the glasses. Yeah. Yeah, I remember. And he lost like 20 pounds, right? <laughs> I don't know if he lost I don't think he did. He was never fat. He's always was fine. But see, what does that teach kids? At, <laughs> at a certain age, you need to lose the glasses. Mm-hmm. And you need to... Yeah, better shape up uh-huh. if you want a job for life or a future spouse or just attention or attention that's for real Damn. i feel like i didn't say a lot during this vlog i mean this mukbang you were suffering i was preoccupied during most of it it always goes so fast um would you like to say anything before we go <sighs> Man, it's been 26 minutes? Yeah. It's been a really long time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I feel like I haven't said anything, but anyway, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for watching mm-hmm. our ramen. We talked about random stuff. I can't even say that's a topic, really. I felt like it, yeah, we were supposed to stay on celebrities, but. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Mm-hmm. Let us know what you want to see next. Next time we'll probably eat some pizza. Yes. Some yes. chicken wings. Our last viewer requested viewers. We had tons of viewers. <laughs> oh. Out of our, we had an abundance of people requesting pizza and wings. Although we only had twelve subscribers, <laughs> we had about twelve hundred <laughs> requests to do pizza. No, yeah, somebody requested pizza and wings, so we would love to honor that. Tons and we'll be eating there. I don't know who's gonna be on that mukbang. Oh, yeah. Might be you two again. We might have a special guest. Might be our dad. Might be Kelly. You never know. Mm, you never know. A little birdie okay, told we, me. We might have Selena Gomez come through for a Shoot. second. A little birdie told me we're going to Santa Monica. Well, that birdie was a liar. Um. Anyway, thank you for watching. <laughs> Bye.